Fallen. That's coming up on Monday. Mark? It's that time of year. We are days away from the kids getting out of school. And as a parent, you start to pull out your hair and like, well, what do we do with the kids? Well, we have a list of all these camps. We're going to start out with some free ones, and then we're going to go into some ones that are just really educational. And the kids will have a blast. I'd like to welcome back Terry Mashauer with Fun for First Coast Kids and J.J. Vitali with the zoo. Yes. <laughs> That's what we got some animals. So let's start with you, Terry. So let's start with some free ones out there for parents that, again, they just want to get their kids out of the house. Exactly. So summer camps are a $15 billion a year industry. $15 billion. Billion. And so the truth is, though, that we need camp because we're either working or we're home and we need them to go to camp. <laughs> so um, save some money there. So free camp. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Sorry. You give me a prop and I will use it. <laughs> So um, there's some professional football players that come back home to Jacksonville in the summer to do free camps. And um, there's some special programs for kids. Like if you've been through cancer, they let you go for free and just relax and enjoy. Um, you can sign up early for camps. So like YMCA, if you buy two camps, you get one free. But that's in April, so you want to start early. Sure. And then definitely check our websites and Facebook pages and the other camps and see if they're doing a giveaway to get free camp. Everything that helps. That's a great idea and a great resource. And we're going to have all the information in our website too. So now moving on, there's a lot of great camps out there that are really interactive and they actually help out just with education and all the things that keep the kids involved and engaged, which are very important. Exactly. So another way to save money on camp is to join the organization you're going to the camp. For example, with Jacksonville Zoo with JJ Vitali, you can save $25 a week if you are a member and you get discounts all summer. So she's going to tell us a little bit about her camp. Yeah, we have camps for um, everything from students that are going in through kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. They have all sorts of fun themes. Some of them are just going out learning how to be a zookeeper, learning about conservation. So you go out and you, this is actually a rhino skull, so you'll get to go out, meet our rhinos, learn how our zookeepers feed our rhinos, take care of our rhinos, make enrichment for our animals. And then there's one camp that I love. It's for second and third graders. It's called Ickyology. And it teaches these kids all about the, well, gross things <laughs> that some animals do. So if you see here, we have, this is an owl pellet. And the students go through, you open it up, and you see the things that owls aren't able to digest. Here's one for you. Uh. Anyway, so there's bones, there's feathers, there's all sorts of cool things. And what second or third grade member wouldn't love to just touch some slimy, dirty, yucky things? So uh, owl pellet. Yes. So that went through the owl. Came back up out of the you owl. Could, you could call it owl poop if you wanted to. Uh, regurgitation, <laughs> yes, yes. But uh, all good stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, really interesting. It's another great way to get kids keeping them involved in science and learning all summer long. So Right. And... The MOSH also has programs too. Exactly. MOSH will be doing science experiments and their brand new dinosaur exhibit is coming on May 27th and they will incorporate dinosaurs into their summer camp. Save $41 a week if you're a member there. Same with Cummer Museum, their art camp. You'll save $35 a week if you're a member. And it's really important to do your research. Again, become a member because that's going to help out a lot. And then the other thing I like about these programs too, during the summer, kids, they lose just a, a lot of their study habits. This mm -hmm. keeps them engaged and just excited to learn. So It does. And keep back that to that getting them worn out. I know certainly at the zoo camp, we walk them through the zoo every single day. They come home, they are tired. And from what I've heard, these camps do the same, especially the soccer camp. And yeah, the soccer camp too, you know, sometimes you just have active kids and they just want to be out there running around. So something for everybody. Again, all the information will be on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. So go there, you can learn all about it and just make sure that you're planning for your kids to give yourself a break. So thanks guys for coming out. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now coming up on River City Live, it's a film festival that will have you laughing out loud. That's right, stick around, more to come. <laughs>